Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me um, today and uh, appreciate you being here. So today I am going to talk about a few things. Um, basically, the main thing is what I just got from Amazon um, that I ordered. Um, I purchased some uh, watercolors and I did a little review on that um, that I am yet that I'm going to upload and then um, or that I have uploaded and then uh, because I got a little set of watercolors um, this is my pan because I did a little piece from this uh, let's make art um, website and it, they have a, a butcher block pan and I got a, a couple of paint brushes and it was a size two and a size six and now I have a size 10 from Amazon that's on its way to me and um, but today I'm going to talk about this little guy. I've been watching this artist on YouTube and uh, her name is Karen Rice and it's Karen Rice watercolor painting is, I believe is her um, her uh, channel but she I noticed that while she was painting I noticed that she was dipping her paintbrush uh, into this little container so I just don't know what it was called she didn't even never she didn't talk about it um, but I just went on you on uh, um, Amazon and I went looking it up and I found it and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, so anyways, it's called a uh, Gorilla Painter Tri Brush Washer. So um, let me see if you can see that there. Um, so hopefully you can see that. That's the name right there. So anyways, that's what I found. And uh, I'm pretty excited about it, like I said. And I wanted to share it. I don't know how you guys are about crackling paper, but sometimes it makes me crazy. Um, so anyways, it, there, there's three of them, and they're all pocketed in, so it's really convenient for storage. Um, I'm assuming that it's for, you know, plain air or uh, travel painting, so you can hang it. Um, all three of them, I believe, hook to each other. Let me see if I'm correct, because I have not looked at this. They're all the same. So they all just hook together. And then you uh, can hang it. That's if you choose to hang it. Um, me, I won't be hanging it. Um, but, like I said in my other video, with watercolor, I've heard that it's best to not use just one container because it gets all muddy. And I was so I was using one container to rinse my paintbrush and one container for the clean water. Well, I also heard that it's better to have um, one container for your clean water one container for your warm tones and one container for your uh, cool tones. That way they don't turn into mud. So that is my plan is to use that use it that way. Um, so and I think I think it's gonna work well. Let's see maybe I have them on the wrong side. But the, the the convenience factor, I think, is, is really great. Um, they uh, they look to me like they're gonna they're gonna be quite nice um, to use. There we go. So it works better on, the, on those sides. Um, so it'll be nice nice to use it, and it's and it's small. I mean, if you're gonna do a big project maybe you need that um, but I'm not sure how many ounces 
this takes. So let me go get some water and we will check the ounce size. Okay, and this, um, let's say I just got a measuring cup, and I'm gonna just pour it in the middle one because the middle one is the bigger of them. I just have two cups of water, and I'm not gonna use all two cups of water, I'm sure, but I can measure it from here. So fill it about to right there. That's a good, that is about half, half a cup. So that's about, about four ounces, because it was, yeah, about four ounces in this in this one right here right now and that's you know a decent amount of water when you're doing a, a project unless you're doing something really big then you're gonna have to get bigger containers so anyways i just wanted to share this with you and this again is called the gorilla painter tri brush washer all right, and I got it on Amazon. And um, shoot, I think I paid around nine fifty for it. Um, so I'm excited to use it. I think it's going to work well. It's stable, flat bottom, so it won't have to worry about tipping it over. And um, I just wanted to share this item with you. So um, I hope you enjoyed this review and uh, have a great day and we'll talk soon. And just as I was finishing, I decided to take that top label off of that label, which is the original maker's label. And you can see the name right on it. And that is what the original label looks like. So if you are checking at other places like Hobby Lobby or um, some other arts and crafts supply stores. They even have the website listed up here. Um, let's see if I could get that in there for you. That is uh, gorillapainter.com and their phone number. All right, so enjoy and we'll talk soon.